Hello, I am Jennifer and a physical therapist at Athletico. Today I will talk you through how to do a warm up and cool down with any activity. Let's start with the warm up. Why do we warm up? It increases blood flow and oxygen throughout our body, it gets movement through our joints and muscles, and it prepares our mind for activity. This is Princess Reed, a professional dancer from the Joffrey Ballet of Chicago, and she will be our demonstrator. Let's show some warm up movements. I would suggest repeating these 20 to 30 times depending on how stiff you feel. Marching in place. You can add a little bounce to this. You can also swing your arms overhead. Reach across lunges. This adds a little twist to your spine. Don't forget to look over your shoulder and rotate your neck. Side stretch lunges. This will get all the lateral muscles of the body. Next, I'll give you a sequence that I suggest repeating five times. First, roll down your spine to the ground. Then, walk your hands forward to a downward dog. This will lengthen all the muscles along the backside of the body. Next, pump your ankles five times. This will wake up your calf muscles. Now walk your legs to your hands, and then roll up your spine. Last, add a little backwards bend. I will have Princess demonstrate this one more time. First, roll down your spine to the ground. Then, walk your hands forward to a downward dog. Next, pump your ankles five times. Now walk your legs to your hands, and then roll up the spine. Last, add a little backwards bend. Now let's talk about the cool down. So why do we cool down? It decreases our heart rate for heart health. It decreases tension in our muscles. It helps relax our body and mind. After any exercise, first make sure you either walk or march slowly until you feel your heart isn't racing and you have caught your breath. Next, Princess will demonstrate some stretches. These are to be repeated twice and held for 30 seconds each time, and remember to do both sides. I suggest if you have a favorite stretch, please add it to this list. Back opener. Bring your chin to your chest and reach your arms out front. Neck side bend. Grasp your hand over your head and gently pull your ears towards your shoulder. Calf stretch. Perform a lunge with your front knee bent and back heel down. There are two ways to stretch the calf. First is with your back knee straight and then with your back knee bent to get the two different parts of the calf. Hip flexor stretch. First you'll kneel and feel free to place a cushion under your knee. Keep your trunk upright and pelvis just slightly tucked under. Then shift your body weight forward. Feel the stretch in the front of your kneeling knee. Kneeling trunk rotation. Open your chest and twist your spine, reaching back with your hands. Next, go down to your back. Pull both of your knees to your chest and give yourself a gentle hug while relaxing your low back. Then stretch your hamstrings by pulling one leg up behind your thigh with your back flat. Now do a figure four stretch to get a little more into the hip rotators. Bend your knees and put your feet flat on the ground. Cross your ankle over your knee. You can give your hip a little extra opening by pressing at your knee. Another option is to pull your other leg up towards your chest. Last is the inner thigh stretch. Put your feet together and open your hips. So remember to do both sides. You'll stretch for 30 seconds and hold this twice on each side. I hope you enjoyed our little overview of the warm up and cool down. <laughs>